quick video on some bags. I'm just going to do an open the box video here and then we'll probably update these in a few months or something when the rainy season's over. But we are in Arizona, it's a desert, but we do get a rainy season and that's about to start. Uh, because we've got some cameras and jet laptops and things, uh, that saw these on the shelf and thought I'd give them a try. Uh, they're dry sacks. You get three of them for $10 and uh, this is at the local big box store in their outdoor section. Um, seem to be just nylon uh, dry sacks like what you'd use on a uh, outing like on a boat or something and uh, thought I'd give them a try. They can't be very big or very substantial because they're in a pretty small package here but uh, anyway we'll open them up. Nice nylon heavy duty. They're not all the same size. The large one, medium, small size. The buckles uh, seem kind of cheap. I can't expect that to last too long. So potentially something else could be done there. Outdoor products, it says. And they're connected here by a little piece of plastic. Can use a Gerber artifact to take care of that pretty quick. So it seems like they've got sort of a heavy plastic side, um, maybe like a milk container or something about that thickness, and they've got this sort of heavy vinyl or something on this side, and the idea being, I imagine you just sort of, well first you put in whatever stuff you've got, and this is sort of a nylon, lightweight nylon. I imagine it's going to be waterproof, but uh, it's not like a vinyl bag that some, some of these are or rubber. I've had rubber bags like this. And then once you have rolled it a few times, you can see that it's holding air. Then you just clip it and not only gives you a good place to hold on to, but you could clip this to a, a thing going across in a boat or to a pack or something. Although again, I wouldn't put a lot of confidence in this buckle. Just my first impressions are this buckle is going to be pretty weak. Now, these weren't real expensive, so we're probably going to not treat them delicately. Uh, I just want to see what they can handle. So we'll uh, try them out here. I might stick them in a lake or something first or in a pool just to see what kind of waterproof they are because there is a big seam. I mean it's fabric that's sewn. Like I say it's not plastic or anything. The large one is basically the same thing just in a larger size. So pretty nice. Uh, first impressions are that the nylon is quality. It looks like a ripstop or something. So even if they weren't uh, waterproof, or if they don't turn out to be as waterproof as I hope, then uh, at least I've got some decent uh, bags to help organize stuff. Definitely should be easy to keep track of them. The, you know, the solid orange, the solid green, the solid blue color should be pretty easy to identify. Spot clean with cold water. Made in China. Kind of figured I'd see that, but there we go. So we got uh, three bags, about $10. Now, not at the same store, but at a dollar store. At one of the dollar stores in town, I found what they call a beach bag. And I was, actually, I bought this, honestly, I bought this because I thought it might uh, work out well for spray painting on different projects. But once I saw what we got here, it's actually not a bad deal. It's a fairly decent sized bag. You know, I guess it's meant to put your beach stuff in or your stuff from the pool into it. And uh, so it's fairly decent size. It says it's, uh, 23 by 30, well basically 24 by 30, so pretty decent sized bag. It's pretty decent nylon too, and you've got basically a cord here with a, a adjustable stop. So anyway, what I'm getting at is uh, I think it'll make a good accessory to these dry sacks, because if I am in a wet environment, even if the stuff in the stack stays dry, a good chance something else is going to be wet, and this compresses down, or I could fold it back up to be a fairly small size thing, but once it's opened up, it does allow you to, you could put a shirt in here, or a pair of shoes even, or boots, and they're going to stay secure, but you can uh, let them air dry as you hike, or just um, at camp or whatever, hang them in a tree so that the breeze hits them. So anyway, it was for one dollar at a dollar store. Figured it was worth uh, accessorizing the dry bags with the uh, bag for drying things out.